Designing a brochure with Adobe InDesign CS6. We have the Adobe InDesign CS6 application open here. Click on the document. A dialog box pops up for the new document. We are going to design a three-folded brochure. So in the number of pages, write six. And uncheck facing pages option. For the width, let's do 22 pika and height 51 pika and keep the orientation vertical. Okay, so we have the layout for designing the brochure as per given measurement here on the master page. If you go to pages option, you will see all those six pages are here that we have taken. Now as we want to design a three-folded brochure, for that we want to arrange three pages horizontally next to each other. Click on the sign here, go to view page and click horizontally. Now you see all the pages are set horizontally. Now to allow the pages next to each other, we want to go there and uncheck allow documents to shuffle now you see we can just simply drag and have them join together as it's going to be a three-folded brochure we need three pages together and again another three pages together for the other side of the brochure now we want to do our design in this layout So let's double click on the A master page. We have the A master page here. On this page, we will create a rectangle shape with the rectangle tool from the menu box. Now let's choose a color for the rectangle. Let's go with the blue. Then go to file and place. Let's select an image. Click open. Now as you can see the image hasn't quite fit into the rectangle. So we shall now click on the fill frame proportionally or fit content proportionally. You see the picture got placed nicely on the page. Now let's grab the text tool and create a text box. Let's type tourism in Bangladesh. You can also copy and paste text here from different source if you like. We can change the size of the text from here. Now let's keep this as the heading of the brochure. Let's center align it. Let's choose a color of the text which goes perfectly with the background, perhaps white. Now if the text size is bigger than the frame here, let's just increase the text area. We can adjust the top margin, whatever suits. Now let's create a rectangle box here where we want to insert an image. While having the box selected, go to file and place an image. Again, the image is not set to the shape. So click the fill frame proportionally or fit content proportionally. So the image has fit to the frame now. This image says beautiful Bangladesh as obviously our brochure is going to be related to tourism of Bangladesh. Now let's say we want to put another text box in the bottom for the web address or something like that. Give it a color that goes and matches with others. 
we can obviously drag it to better position. So we have the front page of the brochure. As we have worked on the master A page, it's now available on all the other pages. Now as obviously we want to keep the same background for all the pages of the brochure and at the same time contents of the other pages going to be different. So we need to press and hold Ctrl plus Shift and click on the other page and delete the contents that we don't want on the other pages. Now let's reduce the opacity of the background from here. Perhaps we want this web address to be available here, but I think we need to choose a different color on here to go with the background. Now let's jump on the next page where we have to do pretty much the same. We need to select the item of this page by pressing Ctrl and Shift. Let's reduce the opacity of the background image. Delete the contents. Keep the web address in black. Now let's take the type tool and drag a text box. Type in the text or paste any copied text from other source. Resize the text box. Align it properly. Select all the text and justify it. Now similarly we want to have another text box below. In the middle we want to have an image. For that we'll create a rectangle shape first and place an image from file. Click fill frame proportionally to have the image right on the shape. Similarly on the other page we will add some text boxes about some of the tourist areas of Bangladesh and some related images. Similarly we have designed other three pages adding text and images. Do some final polishing of the text color or opacity that catches your eyes. So finally we would have a brochure designed in Adobe InDesign. Thank you.